last 22 innings, there's one thing the Pittsburgh Pirates have failed to do. Score any runs. In fact, a member of the Bucks hasn't crossed home plate since the sixth inning on Tuesday, and they've lost four straight as a team. On Saturday, they wasted no time trying to right the Pirate ship. Micah Owings facing Nate McLeod, who came back Friday after missing six games with an oblique strain. Not feeling any pain here. A hot shot off of Brandon Phillips in the bottom of the first. Scores Niger Morgan, and the Pittsburgh Pirates are off the schneid. They've scored a run. Later in the inning, it's 2-0 Pittsburgh. Base is loaded for Ramon Vasquez. That's a single to right field. Nate McLeod, Adam LaRoche both come in to score a four-run first inning for the Pirates. They needed that. Ross Ollendorf was the last Pirate pitcher to get a win. Top of the fourth, it's 5-0 Pittsburgh. Alex Gonzalez right off the foul pole. That means it's fair. His second home run of the season, it's 5-3. Two batters later, Willie Tavares will line out to Nate McLeod. He said he missed six games with an oblique drain. Looking great in center field on Saturday, and it's time to partay. Bottom of the seventh, base is loaded, one out. Andy LaRoche grounds the third, but Brandon Moss is safe on a Brandon Phillips error. Adam LaRoche and Nate McLeod would both score. It's 7-3. Pittsburgh bottom seven, it's 7-4. Nigel Morgan at first, Jared Burton. Unloads the wild pitch, and Morgan goes all the way to third base. Check out the speed. He would later score on a sack fly to make it 8-4 bucks. Top of the ninth, it's 8-6. Madcaps already gave up two RBI singles facing Gonzalez, who homered once already. No. Madcaps gets him to strike out in the top of the ninth and ends this ball game 8-6. Pittsburgh Pirates get the win. Nate McLeod goes three for five. He scored three times. Ross Ollendorf wins his third straight start.